<sighs> hey you guys, it's a uh, really early, really early in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to go to Belfast. Uh, if you don't know what Belfast is or where Belfast is, it's like the, like I guess capital of Northern Ireland. I guess you could call it. Um, uh, but it's up in Northern Ireland, and uh, going with a few friends. Uh, actually, I say a few friends. Uh, one person who I kind of know vaguely, and two people who I don't know. <laughs> um, but it'll be good crack either way. Uh, if I go miss, if I go missing, um, and it's like some kind of hostile situation. Um, hostile as in like the movie Hostile, not hostile as in like violent. Well, I guess it could be either one. Either way, um, yeah, you know where I'm going, uh, at least, uh, so you know where to start looking. But yeah, so I have uh, posters and stuff up, and I wanted to give you a quick tour of my room. So, I'm going to start over here. Uh, this is my Gator poster. Uh, I actually got this at work, oh, uh, I don't know, like maybe six, seven months ago. Um, it's signed... It's number 235 out of 500. Um, you're not going to be able to see that. And then um, the, oh, the name uh, is Michael Hunt. Um, I hope Michael Hunt does not go by Mike because that would be a really bad name. Anyways, so that's, um, that's the, ow, ow, I just hit my head. Um, that's that poster. So we're going to go to the rest of the room. Uh, you come over here and you get a really nifty mirror. Um, hi. Uh, I'm getting ready to go. Oh, I got an empty mirror. Um, up here you have a cool little uh, spray can painting that uh, I got when I was in community college. Uh, they came out and it's all done by spray paints. And they spray paint it and they use paper and stuff to like rub it to make all the cool little designs. And things of that nature. Uh, yeah. And then uh, my friend Julian got me the Boba Fett poster. So we got that hanging up there. And then we have the DITFM. That is a school radio station that uh, they do it for a week. And I got that just for school. Um, zombie Killing. We got a Left for Dead No Mercy poster again. My friend Julian, thank you very much. Uh, I got my gator flag. Uh, of course, you have to have a gator flag. I represent school colors and whatnot. And then we're looking at the room. We have my bed here, which is made. So yay. Uh, it's day two of a made bed. And we have a sink, which I thought was a little odd. Uh, oh, and the heater. Got the heater. Uh, but the sink I thought was a little odd, you know, having a sink in the room, if you will. But I actually think it's kind of smart. Because um, then I can brush my teeth and everything up here. Take a shower downstairs. Um, I had a friend once who told me about uh, a friend of his who had a bedroom had had the sinks and the bathroom completely separate. So I thought that was cool and here it is in action. Um, I have Chewbacca hanging up here. This is like some weird hole that goes to the abyss of nowhere. Um, I have another one of those cool little spray painting things. It's a castle, obviously, with like a lake and like a planet and palm trees and stuff. It's kind of cool. Uh, I have Darth Vader, a Skyrim hat that one of my friends gave me. I have uh, a German hat that I bought at uh, Oktoberfest. Then I have another mirror. Hi. Uh, here I have tons of shaving cream that I've had for several years. Um, I had a whole box of this. I'm almost, I've given it down to like eight of them. Uh, some cologne, and then toothbrush, toothpaste, things of that nature. Again, the most amazing Julian gave me Johnny Cash. So you got the Johnny Cash there. Um, that's about the bed because I use Johnny Cash. This is another hole that goes into oblivion, but apparently it's also just kind of a hidey hole um, that I can put stuff in. I got my dresser drawers, which has normal dresser drawer stuff, socks and underwear and shorts and the bottom two are just brain on junk drawers. But I have my comic book collection that I have here with me, uh, which is Dresden Files, the first one, Star Wars, Walking Dead, and a few singles. Um, and then the books that I have with me, I bought the first Game of Thrones because I'm going to start that one. I have the first three, Wheel of Time. The fourth one is in my bag. I'm about to finish it. Uh, Shogun, which is my favorite book. Some random book that I picked up on the bus. Uh, or not on the train. Somebody just left it. And Aragon Inheritance. I read that as well. Alarm Clock. My notebook that I uh, keep everything. 
um, all my ideas and stuff for videos in. A card that I just got today for my aunt. So thank you, Aunt Judy. I got a zombie Yoda right here. Oh no, that's uh, uh, okay. Zombie Yoda. So you got zombie Yoda. Um, actually, Julian gave this to me as well. Uh, Julian is pretty much my best friend, and he's giving me everything. Uh, I got my desk, which is kind of a mess. Got my laptop. Got my iHome, so I have where I can play all of uh, my iPod stuff. Um, I have a candle. Uh, down here is some extra stuff. Got my hamper, my tripod, which I've obviously not used today. Um, clothes, 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 and clothes. Um, I actually realized, I actually realized I have about 60 t-shirts. Um, yeah, I've been like, pretty much all I brought with me was clothes. Um, so I'm going to try to use as many, uh, wear as many t-shirts with, uh, like, through, like, or not, let me start that over. I'm gonna try to wear uh, all of my t-shirts uh, uh, before I re-wear any of the t-shirts. So that's gonna be kind of my goal of a couple shirts that I might re-wear or whatnot. But for the most part, I think I'm gonna try that. Uh, Cause like I said, I have like 60, but that's including like my long sleeve dress shirts that I bought or I brought with me. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, as I leave, I want to say goodbye. I will see you guys tomorrow uh, with footage from Northern Ireland. Uh, it's supposed to be some beautiful stuff up there. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and also, just a quick shout out to Chris from Project 12. You mentioned how uh, Kindles were pretty much amazing. Um, I disagree. I prefer books. I have several bookcases full of books that are at my mom's house currently in steamer trunks. I don't think I could ever give those up. Um, it's the feel, it's the, the smell, the texture, and I like the status thing, you know? I like, if I'm sitting on the bus or I'm sitting in a cafe and I'm reading a book, everybody knows that I'm reading a book, you know? Like you mentioned the big Aragon book, and I, I, I agree, you could use that as a weapon. Um, and yeah, but I like that. I like the fact that, you know, it's big, it's cumbersome, but you know what, when people look at it, they go, man, that guy right there, he's a reader. You know, they, it's a status thing. I don't know. That's why I, I just don't think I can get on the ebooks. But however, out of all of the books that I have back home, it would be nice to have them with me now. Because um, there's a lot of books that I wanted to read that I just didn't. However, they all costed me about 25 cents to $3 at max uh, because of the Friends Library book sale uh, in the States. Uh, which is the best book sale I've ever been to, ever. Anyways, this video is pretty much all one take, and I've rambled, um, yeah. So I'll see you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.